In this video, we will show you how to set up escalation rules. Escalation rules are useful to manage service level agreements or operation levels agreements. They can be set up on any items such as bugs, tasks or requirements. In Copium, you can visualize and manage escalated items on the Kanban board. This feature helps you to stay on top of things and manage the processes between development and production. So let's go to, to the code beamer. And you can see we have some requirements. But before I set up any escalation rules on those requirements, I'll need to, I need to create a view first. So let's create this view and call it new issues. And I want to have one condition. I only want to have items in here which are in the status new. Therefore, select the status in here select the new status in particular let's click on OK and let's click on save and as you can see currently I only have items in here which are in a status new so right now we can set up escalation rules so therefore we will go under more go under customize and here on the right side we do have a tab called escalation currently we don't have any escalation rules in here but right now we want to add one so the default value would be after eight hours, anyone submitted an item which is in the status new. Mm, we probably want to send out a notification to Anthony, who's a stakeholder, as you can see it here. And we just save this. And we want to add another escalation rule after this one. Probably maybe three days after nothing has happened. Maybe Irene, who's down here, admin, she gets an email. Meaning, so if Anthony doesn't do his work, after three days, Irene will get an email. So let's save those escalation rules. This is how we set up escalation rule. Now, since we are on the tracker functional requirements, I want to show you some other requirements, how they look, and how we can manage them with the Kanban board. As you can see here, I'm currently in a tracker called Project A requirements, which are with the abbreviation P-A-R. And here are the escalation rules for this particular tracker. As you can see, this is after three days, Anthony will get an email, and after five days, Mr. Ackerman will get an email. So once requirements from this particular tracker will be in the Kanban board, I do have a swim lane and I can check out the escalation dates once it's last fired. So I will just unclick this. As you can see, currently I don't have any swim lane. And when I'll go back to my escalation date, you will see here, this is the escalation date when the escalation rule last applied. And so currently I have one item, as you can see, abbreviated P-A-R um, in the to-do column and one in the in progress common. So this is how you can easily set up escalation rules and stay on top of your things and manage the, the processes between development and production. Thanks for watching.